Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Gamer's Chick, and I would like to welcome you guys back to more of Pokemon Sun and Moon. In the previous episode, we completed the third island challenge um, on Akala Island. The professor actually came to congratulate us and to let us know that if we're ready to go challenge Olivia in the grand trial that we needed to meet him at some kind of research lab on Route 6. So we're just gonna go ahead and heal our Pokemon real quick and then uh, we will go directly there. Now apparently Olivia uses rock type Pokemon. We shouldn't have uh, much of an issue with her because we do have a water type Pokemon on our team. So we should be okay. Um, I hope. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? We'll definitely find out. I don't want to challenge you. What the heck, man? I want to get to Route 6. Where is Route 6 at? Route 6. Route 6. This is... Is this Route 6? This is Route 5. So Route 6 has to be up this way. I don't remember which way that is. Rotom! Rotom, help me. This is Route 5. If I go this way, it'll be Route 4, right? This is Paniola Branch. Um, yes, is this way How says, hey, gamer chick, I know I heard your footsteps. Hi, How. What do you want? I just finished up Malo's trial, you know. Phew, that Malo special of hers was just about good enough to break the mouth, huh? You heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just keep going straight ways that way. Maybe I'll catch you there later. Okay. See ya. Why did it take me off of my Tauros that I was riding? Why would you do such a thing? All right, so let's go find this dimensional research lab. We're supposed to keep heading straight this way. I feel like I've seen it before. It's apparently to the left here. So it's in this little city and it is right here. Nebby, you splash. What, you're training Nebby to use Splash? Pew? Hmm. I was just acting... I was just acting like I was Gamer Chick. What? Why were you acting like you were me? You always seem to give up or end up getting hurt. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers. I thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I saw Gamer Chick and How, it's like they're thrown, they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Uh-huh. You're teaching Nebby how to splash. Oh! Oh, uh, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. Um, how are your trials? It must be quite, uh, it must be quite trying to do three in a row. You mean tiring? It was no problem! Goodness, really. It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala Island's trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so confident and understood by Pelipper there, I mean. I'm ready. I'm ready! Can we please go battle, Olivia? Alright, where is the professor at? Can I please... Here we go. Ding. Going up the elevator. Which floor would you, the third floor? I guess it was the only option. Okay, Professor. Hey there, honey. Honey? Oh, hi. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab. And she's also my wife. Oh. You're a gamer chick, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, all unconscious. Un unconscious? Oh my goodness me. Huh? No how today? How? He's uh, he's out doing his own thing, but he'll be in the re he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a Kahuna, just like old Hala. Okay, you really think so? Whoa! Yeah, I really do. 
Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought them here because I wanted to tell you about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The, mysteri uh, the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. Why are we talking about wormhole holes in Pokemon? I don't, I don't understand. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Here's some Pokemon. Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Aha! Uh -huh. Does the professor think we've got nothing better to do than talk, than read and talk about folks? I, I don't know. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? She just said the same thing. I don't really want to read your stupid theory about a wormhole. Hey there, go see what you can learn from everyone. What? No! Oh my goodness. Tell me something. Tell me. Team battles are the best. No, they're not. Okay. Battle videos are the best. Someone had a theory about them. Oh my goodness. Let me just interact with the bookshelf. There's a slow poke. Okay, what are you gonna tell me? You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it, and then she even got her husband, Professor Pukey, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Uh-huh. Interesting. All right, Hal. Do you have anything to say? You're off to check out Diglett's Tunnel? Well, can I leave and go with you? How about that? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. If you finish all three of Akala's Trials, woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck! Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. But watch out for Team Skull! I still have the things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Okay, so we have to go through Diglett's Tunnel. Let's go. Can I please use the elevator? Thank you. Alright, uh, floor one. That's my only option. That's where we're going. I like how it asks which floor, even though we can only go to one floor. Okay, so we just learned about wormholes. What's happening? We're looking at the stars. Oh, guess what? That's awfully convenient. A wormhole is gonna open up. Uh, what was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky? Yeah, it's that wormhole they were talking about. Hey, so you made it through all three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, uh, let's see, from here it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk past it though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's, oh, he's gonna go get some kind of pastry. All right, well. I believe it's this way, and there is a Pokemon Center. Did I already heal my Pokemon? I don't remember. I did. Okay, so our Pokemon are fully healed, so 
We are good in that aspect. Okay, so this this is the main city. All right. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this particular episode. If you guys would like to support me and if you guys would like to see more of Pokemon Sun and Moon, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment down in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, we are going to be going through Diglett's Tunnel. And then soon after that, we are going to go ahead and battle Olivia. So, until then, I will see you guys soon. Bye!